Okay, so I carved this guy yesterday. It's got the abalone shells in there. Everything's dry. This one's already sold. I don't know. It's my least favorite, but somebody messaged me yesterday and said, uh, can they see my carvings for sale? I showed them everything. And they chose this one. So, but I got to drill some holes because this is not self-standing, right? Well, it is, but it isn't. But I got to drill some holes in the bottom of this. Two holes so that I'll dr dr uh, drive some rebar into the ground at the owner's place. They're paying me a bit extra money. Then I can set it on top of the rebar so it's self-standing. But anyways, today, this is uh, one of my pieces of drift driftwood I found the other day. I'm going to carve a uh, owl and a nook. I think, or maybe I should carve one of those uh, wood spirit. I don't want to look at it. I'm running my 201C. This is a professional saw with, uh, I think it's a 14 inch cannon bar, quarter inch, 50 gauge chain, and uh, Echo 2511 with an eight inch cannon bar, same uh, quarter inch, 50 gauge chain. Okay, so that noise that you're hearing is my buddy Scott out there weed whacking because uh, I got to clear a new spot to put sawdust. So thanks, Scott. Um, so now I got the owl blocked out. This is I'm not trying to make a masterpiece. Just like this one, I didn't put any details in the leaves or whatever, right? This is just kind of like a, a quick carve and a, a quick sale. So this, I just want to point this out, and I have them. Um, this is what Ryan Cook taught me too, guys. So you know, you got your your lines here. And you, got, and you do a swoosh cut, like a whoosh cut right here on both sides, okay? So first of all, I'm going to come along and go whoosh, cut that out. This is what brings your head back. That it's not, it's what makes it not look so flat, right? It gives you, gives you movement in the head. So you do this cut right here, swoosh, then you do this one. Then you draw a line here. You don't, I'm just drawing the line for you guys. And then you cut this like you would cut this because you'd have this point left you'd cut this point off like so you would bring your saw and cut down here and take this point off okay so i'll just do these two cuts and in real time and then i'll stop and then i'll show you what i mean by bringing this cut down here on the front okay Okay, you guys can see how it's angled in now on a triangle, right? So now I'm going to get this cut, and I'm going to go like this, right down here, okay? So, pretend this is my finger is your saw blade, and just, and bring it out down to here. Okay, so, I don't know what's going to happen with this, because this wood is, this wood right here is super soft. Super soft. So, you can see the top of the head there. The whole thing sloped back. Sorry, guys. This way now, okay? So, let's bring our center line back down. Okay? Our beak. So... Yeah, I don't know. This is hard to draw. I'm going to leave the beak extra thick for right now. Because so just like your wood spirits know, it's better to start off thick than thin, right? So you can always take away, but it's harder to add. And so these cuts will go all the way down here. So what I'm going to do is pretend this is my chainsaw uh, bar. I'm going to cut here, down here, okay, on both sides. Because this will be cut in here.
and it'll go something like this. Okay, so I'm gonna cut here. I gotta be so careful. This wood is so soft right here. I gotta cut. Anyways, I gotta do these freaking cuts and then I'll be back. Okay, yep. <laughs> Okay, it's all sloped this way, that way. <laughs> yeah, it's so super tricky because this wood is just, well, it's just, there's some spots that's just pretty well almost punky. Look, I can pick it with my fingers. So, but I did what I could. So now, like I said, I'm not trying to make a friggin' masterpiece here. This is just a quick sale. So his beak will be here, okay? So we'll carve that in. Then, I don't know, we'll just mess around with this stuff. Then uh, his eyes. And uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do the Uncle Kevin, um, uh, uh, what's it called, spook owl effect. So anyways, but there you can see it's sloped this way, right? So continue. This whole carve has been such a challenge with all that soft wood. But, uh, yeah, I really screwed up his eyes. They're too low. His head looks like it should be flipped. So the simple solution to that, carve deeper. Get rid of this. Put the eyes higher. Okay, that's much better. I'm not doing any more details in these. Uh, I'm, I'm yelling. i got to stop yelling. Okay, that's much better now. There's. Uh, I'm not doing any more details in these eyes. It says what it is. This, for me, is basically a win because, man... Oh, I'm sure this wood will harden up once it uh, gets dry, but oh, it's like soft, so soft. So what I'm going to do now, just to uh, maybe get their eyes off the owl so much, because, well, it's just kind of a funny looking owl. I'm going to uh, use this. This is a old still 1S, uh, MS-170, and it's got one of these uh, gougers on it, like this. And uh, this, I got this on Etsy for like, I think 200 bucks. I've had it for like three years. It's still kicking and I just abuse the hell out of this thing. So just look on uh, Etsy for uh, chainsaw gouger. See one, two, three, and you might want to order an extra set of these, these cutters. Anyways, I'm going to go along the outside and just hit it with this, make it kind of look like bark and burn it, sound it, color done. All right, so that took about five minutes. So, now I guess I gotta burn it. I just did quick tones. This owl's not proportionate. It's just, it's just something for somebody's yard. A quick sale for me, if it, somebody wants to buy it anyways. Uh, speaking of owls, I know there's barn owls in the uh, barn back here. So how about I take a quick walk down there and we'll go see if we can see the barn owls. Yeah, they're up there. So they live up in this corner of the barn and that corner of the barn. There's two of them. Let's go have a look. I won't walk down there with you guys, but anyways. Oh yeah, since I'm here, look what Scott cleared out for me for more sawdust. So, man, I got about three hours worth of sawdust to clean up in a wheelbarrow out here. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm in the barn. Look what it is right up there. I'll zoom in. It's a barn owl. Oh, I can't zoom in. Hold on here. Okay, so you can see it up there. So let's see. Can't zoom in. Hold on. Okay, so it's not letting me zoom in that much. But there you can see that white up there. So let's walk up these stairs and you'll see it fly. I got a rock too to throw by it to see it fly, but. I'm not going to throw the rock at the owl. Let's get that very clear. Oh, there it goes. Yep, that, that was quick. Anyways, there's the owl tour. So back to this owl. I'm going to burn it. I'm not going to film. I'm going to burn the whole thing. Then I'll sound to flex it. Okay, bye. All right. All right. Now I'll sound it. All right, so there is a carving fusion owl and a nuke. I don't mind it actually. Turned out pretty good, I think, in my opinion. 
good enough for me anyways I'd have it in my yard so um, I guess I'm gonna carry on and I'm gonna get get that last piece of driftwood I found the other day and uh, carve a friggin wood spirit I guess I don't know this took me about three and a half hours well I'd fair to say four hours so let's just take a quick look at it here So those those kind of things add character yeah this wood I'm not gonna be able to treat this I like the way this bark turned out I'm not gonna be able to treat this and you see I just carved the shapes of talons down there that one's sticking way high up there that's okay but you can just it's just the shape so anyways I guess I'll carry on carve a wood spirit yep yeah, that's what I'll do then uh Man, I got like four wheelbarrows, five wheelbarrows to fill and get rid of all this sawdust. I got to pick all through the wood and stuff through it. But anyways, carry on, carry on. Okay, so this isn't the wood spirit video. This was the owl video, but I'm going to carve this wood spirit. I'm not going to film it, and I'll show you guys when it's done. This is the last piece of uh, wood that I had from driftwood, driftwood hunting. I have no idea what kind of wood this is, but I'll tell you right now, it's friggin' heavy as hell. So, anyways, and it's wet. So, carry on. I still have no clue what type of wood this is, but I'll tell you one thing. It's friggin' hard as hell. Can anybody maybe tell me and it's gray color? This shit, it's not, it's not even that wet. It's just hard as friggin' hell, this wood. Oh yeah, it sure is. Okay, now I'll do the eyes. Look, he's got teeth. Okay, so two coats. This is the birdhouse. The birdhouse has three coats on it. Um, this just has one coat. That's all the owner wants. This guy. Uh, two coats. I love this guy, man. I think the colors in them are just cool. So anyways, that's it, and the owl's uh, outside, and I'll let it dry out a bit, then I'll put a couple coats of spirothane on it, like these ones too. See, it's right here. Right there. Hope you guys are all good. That's it for Carbon Fusion. Over and out. Carry on, carry on, carry on.